All right, guys, welcome back for a crazy video today. I mean, it's not about mobile development. It's about AI and about Sora, the new model that was revealed by OpenAI yesterday. It's a video AI model that's able to generate videos up to one minute. And I mean, the level of realism of those videos really blew my mind. We're going to go through what this model is capable of doing at the moment but also uh, asking the question, is this a good thing for humanity? Because I tend to all the time try to see the good thing, good aspect and be positive in improvements in technologies. But for this specific topic, I cannot really find where this thing is going to be super helpful for humanity. So guys, the comment section down below is open. You know that here the community is super kind and open to uh, receive feedback. So please get down there and tell me what you think about this AI model. And if you thought that 2023 was a crazy year for AI, get ready for 2024 because it's about to get even crazier. So what is Sora? Well, let's just jump right into it. I have it uh, open here. And as you can see, it's a creative uh, video from text, right? A model. So basically, you would input like on chat GPT a prompt, right? And you'd get a, a video that's up to one minute in length. So you probably seen this clip already. So you have the prompt uh, right there, you know, and then the AI is able to generate a video that's completely crazy. I mean, think about where we were a year ago in terms of AI uh, generated videos. Uh, they were completely terrible. You know, it was stuff that you were looking around and tell yourself, right, okay, well, that that's uh, that's cool, but there is nothing to worry about. Look at those things. I mean, obviously, you know, it's like you have some um, some stuff that are not super accurate, but this model is, let's say, a beta version, right? They're still fine tuning it and it's going to get better every single uh, every single time. You have other different prompts, as you can see right here, the level of realism of those things and the physics behind it and the lightning and the shadows. I mean, it's completely crazy what you're able to generate or as you can see right here, a different trailer because it's using prompts, your prompt, like on ChatGPT you're able to get down to really the specific of what you want and, and really make no compromise about the stuff that you want. I mean, look at the reflection on the glass right there. This is completely crazy. This video of a drone, for example, completely crazy. All of those videos, guys, they are not real. They're all generated by AI. Sometimes, you know, the model has some difficulties understanding uh, complex physics behaviors like you can see here, but I think it's more appealing right there, right? So you have interaction with puppies or something like this, and you can see that they're going through each other and everything. But all of those physics is going to get better over time, right? And they're going to be able to generate videos that are really reality-like. You've seen the capabilities of that thing really quickly, and I really encourage you to go out there and see for yourself what you think. And it's not a model that's going to be available right away. So it's going to take several months for OpenAI to go through the security checks and all of this. But yeah, the second part of this video is really about, is this a good thing for humanity? I will tell you my personal vision on that thing, but I don't know. The thing is, in this era that we are in for short term content and where everything is gravitating about content. For me, if you take a social media like TikTok or Instagram Reels, right? Those social medias with the short term content, because for now the model is able to generate up to one minute video. But this as well is going to extend. You get those AIs, those type of AIs onto those social medias where they're able to generate videos on demand for a specific user and be able to fine tune and create the right video for you when you scroll up for the next one is going to increase tremendously the retention that they have on their mobile app. I think this could be dangerous. Those social medias are already tremendously addictive. If you add on top of that the possibility for those social media to create content that is 100% aligned with the mood that you're in, with the stuff that you want to see right now, the retention is is only going to go up. I don't believe that this is a good thing. It's encouraging people 
to consume more content. And if this content is not bringing any value to their lives and it's just for uh, distraction, I think this is a dangerous path. And you can have another example. It's looking far down the future as well. But as you can see, that happened in a year. It can also be down the road, right? Super close. For a company like Prime Video or Netflix, you today are going on those platform and watching a series and you're super hooked to that series, but eventually the series ends. And if tomorrow you're able to create through those AI models, a, a series that's never ending, that that's able to generate the next episode, depending on what your mood is, depending on what you scroll through in social media and adapt the story of the series based on your personal story. Well, you are hooked to that thing forever and you are just hypnotized and consuming content without even thinking about that thing, right? And I'm really worried that the society that we are in that tends to hypnotize people and to get them to consume more content, to not really think anymore, is only going to get worse with those kind of tools. But again, I could be very wrong. One good thing, if we can end on, an, on a high note, is for me, this kind of, of AI could be very interesting for content creators at the moment to create B-rolls, for example. If you are creating a video and you want to illustrate your point, instead of going through different videos that were created, you can type your prompt very specifically for what you're looking for, and then you get the video. So that could be great. I don't see any other down the road, future, realistically good thing for those type of AI. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. I mean, I'm really open to and really looking forward to read you all. Yeah, you can see all the implication that those kind of AI can have on mobile apps later on down the road. So keep your eyes always open for new things. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.